I, I think about you know improvements and growth, and I, I think that's it comes with uh, expectations you set for your team, um, and you know expectations generally are something you uh, feed off of year to year. You know, uh, uh, two years ago we were a playoff team, and, and certainly I felt at the end of that year that we uh, had that s a new uh, understanding, a better understanding of how uh, difficult it was to get to that spot, but what a great place to be playing football in December. Um, and I thought we had a better uh, off season as a result, but it, it didn't translate last year. We didn't have, I think, one, uh, a good start to our season. Uh, we had some disruptions early, and we had a lot of players that we were uh, changing. Uh, defense especially, which had lost eight starters from the year before, so we were challenged there. Uh, you know, we improved last year as a football team. I, I know that in uh, my 17 years as a head coach, I felt it was one of those years where I saw the greatest amount of overall improvement, uh, and we used a lot of young players. And at the end of the season, I felt that there was a certain level of excitement, uh, you know, in and around our football team in December. You know, we talked about that and uh, talked about the importance to keep that level of excitement uh, at that high uh, end, but to also understand what it would take. And we've been really working on teaching that, uh, um, you know, with our players, that the commitment level and the, the discipline, the sacrifices that have to go into it. But it always starts with excitement. It always starts with expectations. And certainly when we finish the year uh, playing, I think, a lot better defense than we had at the beginning of the year. Uh, when we finish the year throwing the football at as high a level as I've seen us throw it in quite some time on offense, uh, performing very well on special teams, there was a lot of uh, reasons for us to raise the expectations of our team. And along with that comes raised expectations of individuals who are performing on that team and are coming back. And I'm, I'm pretty open with our guys about that in regards to <coughs> telling them uh, that uh, we set the standards a little bit higher now. We're not, we're not, uh, you're not the same kid you were last year. You're a, a proven starter on a CAA team in the best division in the country. You know the best conference in the country. Um, so it's it's really important for us to challenge our guys because that challenge is not just on the field. It's it's in the classroom. It's in the locker room. It's in the weight room. It's in the hallways here. Uh, how we raise their overall presentation expectations. And if they have that good feeling about themselves, their self-esteem goes up, their performance will go up.